Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. You'll see here a man and his dog, which is a painting I'd done in gouache quite a while ago. And unfortunately I've lost the sound of this video, so I've had to narrate it. But it doesn't matter, that's just how life is. Anyway, I've taken the liberty of sketching that out. I'll make this available for you, but in the meantime let's have a short introduction and we'll get to the painting. So grab your brush, have a great time And don't forget to click subscribe Yeah, so I'm going to be using some gouache today Gouache is um, a chalky version of watercolour so, And it's quite good And if you want to um, have a go in acrylics Then please feel free to do that Because acrylics used on paper will work in the same way The only thing is it won't reactivate okay so just put a reminder up on the screen for you all i'm going to do now is just dampen down the surface of this paper just to get the paint to soak in a little bit this is just uh, an ordinary piece of um a craft paper that i managed to get from the store and uh, i use it for you know doing quick sketches and paintings and just something i want to do quickly rather than get the acrylics out that's why i quite like gouache in fact so um, as you can see, um, I'm just going to start the painting. So you need quite a bit of water for this. This is uh, this gouache. Some of this gouache I've made myself. Um, some I've purchased. Just going into a little bit of Iridian green now. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of Hooker's green to that just to darken it up. Um, the plan I've got in mind is to uh, actually get some trees and some background into this now what you're going to be finding is this video is going to be going on a little bit longer than my normal videos um, and i just wanted to show and stretch out that um you know if you're going to do something a little bit more detailed you're going to need a little bit more time you know nothing is quick especially in painting so just putting in some of my shadow colors I'm going to be working from dark to light, as I do in acrylics. Um, I'm not a great um, watercolour artist. I, I, I struggle with it, in fact, if I was completely honest with you. But I quite like the way gouache works, because I think it works very similar to acrylics. That's why I like it. Now, with acrylics, you can thin acrylics down as thin as you want just by using ordinary water. Um, what I suggest you do is boil the water first and then decant it into a, um, a container uh, let it cool down obviously um, and then that will be great that's what they call distilled water um, it's basically uh, it doesn't go green you can store distilled water for a lot longer uh, but boiled water same thing really so i picked up a little bit of ultramarine blue and i'm using a bit of my white gouache that i made my uh, there are uh, lessons available on the website um, if you want to pop along to uh, my playlist on you um, I'll show you how to make some of this gouache it's really good so I'm just throwing a little bit of that in it's a little bit white but you know me if you painted with me before I don't worry I just go for it and um, we can just change things as it happens so I'm just dampening down the uh, the brush as you can see it's not so bright on this camera angle um, so I'm going to get us a little bit more green now. I'm using a bit more Viridian, a little bit more Hooker's green. And most probably lighten that up um, with a little bit of white later on. But I'm just going to intensify some shadows. So the, the white and blue that I put on is going to represent some sky coming through. Um, I'm looking for an out of focus type of format there. Um, so I don't, I don't worry, I want to worry too much about too much detail really. It's just a matter of building this up. I painted this painting a couple of times and um I, I really like that in fact. I've I've um it's one of my favourites to do. Okay, so we're just continuing to add this green in. As you can see, I'm not really really stressed, I'm just just having fun. And painting is all about that, it's all about relaxation as well. So don't don't get too um involved and too stressed about it. Just just have fun really. And if you make a mistake these mistakes are quite easily rectified really so there we are as i said i've put in a little bit more white um on this particular camera angle the um cameras are picking up a bit of light uh reflection on the wet paint which is a shame but there you go these things happen 
This is why I keep switching over from camera angle to camera angle, but it gives you a different perspective as well as we go along. Okay, so just adding the, um, just building up that foliage, just, just bringing that foliage a little bit closer. I want that maintain that out the focus effect. You know, like as if, um, you know, the new iPhones we've got and uh, you can you can have this depth of field. That's that's the type of thing that I'm actually looking for in this particular painting. And um, so um, man and his dog. Yeah, our man's best friend is his dog. That's what they say, don't they? And uh, I absolutely love my Molly. I do. She's a wonderful little dog. So I'm picking up a little bit of raw sienna, a little bit of burnt ember uh, on my brush now, and um, I'm going to go and paint his hat. So um, I don't really know how I'm going to approach this hat, because I want some shadows and I want some highlights, but I'm just going to continue doing what I normally do with acrylics um, and, and just play with this paint. Um, as I said, I don't use gouache very often, but it's a fantastic medium in, in fact. And it was uh, used by a lot of designers, um, and there still is these days, you know, these um, these uh, designers that design dresses and things like that. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good medium, in fact. So I'm looking at the shape of this hat now. Um, I'm trying to get some sort of form to it. Um, I'm concentrating mainly on the on on the darker type of colours, and I'll most probably add a bit of white in, um, and 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 just just get some definition in it. Um, as I'm doing that, I'm I'm thinking ahead of myself as well. What's the next stage, Clive? I don't quite know at the moment. Um, but you know, I'm just looking at this painting, just letting it develop on its own, and I'm seeing where the uh, highlights should be and mid tones and. It's uh, quite a nice um, way to paint. Um, bringing in a bit of white paint now, a bit of white gouache. White, it's very opaque, this uh, gouache I've made. So, um, mm, it's a bit light, I think. It doesn't matter, I'm going to go with it anyway. Because um, I can always darken that up. So, I, I'm just going to I'm just gonna play with this at the moment, I think. It's, uh, it's just, that's the good thing about gouache. And like I said, you know, you, you could say, oh, you made a big mistake there, Clive. Well, it's good then, actually, fact that um, I can do that and show you. So all I did then was wash the brush out, and um, uh, I've gone ahead now to try and blend this this paint in together. And um, if, you, if you're reasonably quick, you know, it doesn't dry that quick, this uh, this particular paint anyway. it's, uh, it's You don't need retarders and things like that. So just, just, once, just do a couple of paintings, get used to the medium, and uh, you'd be surprised how easy it is to actually use. Um, oh, I've had a fun day today, I tell you. Um, I am on my other YouTube channel, um, Clive's Healthy Mindset and Living, if you want to pop along, the the the, the, the um, link to the channel is in the iCards uh, top right-hand corner there. Uh, it'll pop up, now I expect. At some point, I don't know. I don't worry about these things. It'll pop up when it pops up, when it's ready to pop up. So, um, yeah, I, I, I've been talking the last few days about how things change and, and about stress and anxiety and um, how we must have the ability to uh, adapt to the situation that we find ourselves in. And, um, you know, as I was making the video, I, I was having a really good day, in fact. Um, I got up early. Um, I'd been to the gym. Uh, I got a little gym in a garden in the shed. Um, I did my exercise, took Molly for a walk, um, I started my, my work, uh, I popped off at a coffee, and I, this was a lovely, lovely day, the rain, it was raining, it was, it was, let's be honest, this Wales, it's going to rain, but we don't worry about the rain so much, we get used to that, and uh, it's a bit inconvenient sometimes when you're trying to clean windows, because that's what I do as a, as a day job now, um, which I have been doing for 35 years, in fact, and, um, then all of a sudden, everything went up so daisy. And um, sorry about the glare on this hat. As you can see, it's so wet. But now you can see the background is starting to dry off and sink in. And you can see a little bit of definition there, a little bit of depth. There we are. We just switched the camera over to another angle now. So we can work on this hat. And um, Ivan decided to break down on me. It did. So uh, that's currently in the garage being fixed. Well, it will be tomorrow. And so I've got a day off. Um, 
which hopefully then I'll be able to get on and edit some videos uh, because I'm off to sunny Tenerife shortly. In fact, this video is most probably out by the time I'm in Tenerife. Isn't that nice? There we go. I'm most probably sitting on a nice warm sunny beach now as as you're watching this. So, um, yeah. Hopefully I'll have a nice time. I don't know. I haven't, I, I haven't actually got there yet, but when this video goes out, that's the joy of YouTube. Yeah. YouTube is... Um, relativity <laughs> but um we'll, we, we'll see how it goes uh there we go so we just uh, it's just some seeds so Hopefully it's starting to break up uh, the distance in the background and I like this out of focus type of effect. I think it's absolutely brilliant. So as you know uh, that I'm actually narrating this particular video because unfortunately for me um, when I was painting this I had uh, I got a zoom H1 which I actually record on um, when I'm doing these paintings and um, I thought I don't need to plug it into the mains. Why should I? You know, it's got plenty of battery life, and um, but it didn't. So um, I've got about ten minutes into this painting, and I didn't realize that my sound recorder wasn't working, and I was completely waffling on and waffling on and waffling on for the entire length of this video, and uh, without realizing that I was only talking to myself. But I had a good conversation and I learned a lot. <laughs> so subsequently I've had to come back in the studio. I've had to put on my road um, and then um, plug that into the computer and re-edit this video, which is quite annoying really. But um, there you go. So I've mixed a little bit of um, yellow, a little bit of white. I put a little bit of um, raw sienna into it. Just, just trying to get this a uh, flesh tony type of color you can add a little bit of red to it you can add a little bit of green to it you can add a little bit of burnt umber burnt umber and white works really well and um, add some um, yellow ochre uh, have a look for these different colors all i'm doing is trying to get a a, a a sort of flesh tone i'm not doing a portrait so it doesn't really matter um i can't see much of his face or you won't be able to see much of his face when this particular painting is finished so it's uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to build in some shadows now around the collar of the jacket and the shirt. Um, this is going to be a, a fun old paint in this one. Uh, as I said, I've painted it a couple of times, so um, I'm quite familiar with the way the painting should look. And every painting I do, if you paint the same painting uh, a couple of times, you'll find that not only do you learn from your previous painting, but every painting is going to be different which is fun because you can't predict what the paint is going to do really and um, every painting is going to be different because you've drawn it slightly differently you're going to be applying paint slightly differently even though you'll have a similar effect and a similar painting every paint is individual every painting is individual I should say 
So I continued working on this neckline now, and you can see I put a little bit of shadow into his face. Um, it's getting a little bit of definition there. I put a little bit of um, uh, burnt umber into the ear area, so it looks as if as you've got a ear already without actually working too hard. You've got to work smart and not hard, and, uh, and that's what I particularly do in this um, this these paintings of mine. I don't I don't work too hard if I can help it. So um, now the hat is dried enough. To enable me to add some more um, shadows into it um, and what's going to happen with the gouache is the same with acrylics um, once the underlining layer is dry and you apply wet paint or even get a brush with just a damp brush and you start rubbing it it will reactivate now, unlike acrylics because acrylics uh, dry by forming a plastic skin over the top and once they dry or they've absorbed into the paper if you're using paper you've had it basically you've just literally got to paint another layer over it um, you can move oils about a little bit I used to paint uh, for many years in oils um, quite liked oils but unfortunately for me I had a little bit of a, a reaction um, a skin reaction as a, a dermatological <laughs> I turned dermatitis basically and um, and I had a bit of um, reaction against uh, my breathing as well with, with the fumes because at the time I was using, um, I was only using uh, oil, uh, oil thinners and not, not this water-based thinners that you can get these days, um, which really spoiled it for me. But it doesn't matter. It took me a while to get into acrylics. Um, but yeah, using gouache, very similar to acrylics, but you know, it gives you the ability to reactivate these paints and that's good. So working on his jacket, his jacket is going to be like a whitey, creamy colour. Because um, he's just taken the dog for a walk, he's walked across, he's got a shepherd's crook in his hand there. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the shepherd's crook at the later stage. And um, I'm just basically go just going to block in his, uh, his jacket now. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this video goes on um, for uh, over an hour, in fact, and um, even at that particular length of painting, you're not going to get um, a, a, a great painting uh, or anything that's going to stand out. You're going to get a reasonably good painting. And this is what I've said in many a video that um, don't get confused by these YouTube videos, even my YouTube videos, that you think you can paint a good painting in about 30 minutes or an hour, because you're going to have a reasonable painting, you're not going to have anything that's really good. You need to spend days, if not weeks, on some paintings, and if you're lucky, you may be able to do it in about four hours and get away with it, but it depends on your style of painting and how accurate you want to be, and what detail you want? Do you want it photorealistic, or do you just want? Uh, you can do abstracts in about thirty minutes, but I know some artists that take days, if not weeks, on their abstract painting. So it's all down to to you as an artist, and you do what you want to do. Don't listen to others. You can be inspired by others. You can learn techniques from others, but at the end of the day, you are the artist. You're the one with the brush. You're the one. That is actually sitting there and painting and if you were satisfied with that painting no matter what other people say then that's fine and always compare your work to your work try not to compare your work to other artists because they're individuals and i've never compared myself to others i've aspired to be like others and learn certain techniques like turner and monet sergeant and all these wonderful artists and um that I like, aspired to be like, um, but I, I, I got my own way of painting and I've got my own look, my own style. And some people say to me, um, well, how, how do you find your style, Clive? You don't find your style, the style finds you. you you've painted and practiced so many times over the years, um, months, weeks, whatever. And all of a sudden something go, I quite like the way I'm painting this. I quite like the way this paint is working for me. I like this way of painting. And that is your way of painting. That is going to be your style of painting. 
So don't let anybody put you down and say, oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't put that, that tree there. Where's that tree? That tree doesn't live there. No, the tree is about two yards down the road or it's, it's across the other side of the field. Um, but it's artistic license. I want to put that tree in this field because I think that tree in this field would look better than where it is. Then do it, you know. And, and that's what I suggest you do. And just enjoy the painting process. Okay, so continue to work on um, the, um, the, the, the undershirt and I'm just going to build in a little bit more white here and there and just basically let the paint in just build itself and that's the most important thing. Have a bit of fun. So I'm on a, uh, on a, um, a good journey at the moment um, as far as my uh, health and lifestyle is concerned. Um, I'm enjoying my fitness. I'm I'm, I'm enjoying my, my the the amount of weight I've lost. I've lost over fifty pounds in weight uh, in the last six or seven months, and um, it's such it's had such an impact in my life. Um, I'm I'm vlogging on my other channel now, which is Clive's like uh, mindfulness and mindset and healthy lifestyle and. It's uh, enjoying my food. I'm, 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 I'm having different things. Sweet. I actually ate sushi tonight for the first time. And I thought, oh, I'm not too sure about sushi. I'm not a fish lover. I've never been into seafoods as such. I've seen food and ate it. But I've never actually ate seafood as much as I am now. So I'm eating salmon and sardines and mackerel and turbot. Uh, I've had um, kippers, yeah, kippers, you know, a tuna, fresh tuna. Um, I've had um, octopus and wow, I tell you. And um, I had the first time tonight, I had some wasabi and I didn't even know what, what it was. And I, and I put a good dollop of that on my tongue. And was I surprised by that little puppy? It was lovely. I thought, whoa. I was a bit hot, but I quite liked it. So wasabi it is from now on with Clive. Okay, continuing to build this um, this color in. I'm just trying to find some um, tones, basically, I'm, and I'm actually following my painting that you can see at the top of the um, the, the the piece of paper that I'm working on. Um, you can see the dog's legs and that. So I'm actually working from that. I'm trying to replicate it as close as possible. Now, as that paint is starting to dry, it's starting to look really nice. And you can see the way this gouache actually works. If you've never tried gouache, give it a go. You know, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And um, we never know. We never know what we can achieve. One, if we don't believe. And two, if we don't try. So, and that goes for everything in life. You know what you can achieve what you can believe you will achieve and um just just remember that you know, don't be afraid to try everything and just always try something once like i did with my sushi i thought well i've got nothing to lose i don't even know what it tastes like you know so many times especially when we are children and things we look at something and say i don't want to eat that they don't like it but well, you've never tried it so how do you know you know this is why i think that something like um i'm a celebrity series i'd love to be able to do something like that because it just means that i could try all these different witchy grubs and beetles and <laughs> all this. we don't know how do you know you don't like something if you don't try it it's just our mind really that plays tricks on us same with the sushi there you go okay so i'm just doing the bottom of his jacket now and uh i'm just gonna just enjoy painting and I think I'm just going to have a, I'm just going to play a little bit of music for the moment and um, I think that would be good wouldn't it? Just put a little bit of music on and just relax and just watch me paint for a bit. I'm not going to speed this up though.
So, um, continuing this, uh, this fantastic painting of this man and his dog, um, I'm going to be working um, on the pooch. Um, I'm not sure what type of dog he is. Um, maybe he's a little setter or, or something. Could be a sheepdog. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see how we, how we come together. But um, fun way to paint. And think about shadows and highlights and think about where that light is going to catch and um, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, I think I'll just add a little bit of white onto the dog I think and try and get that built up as well because he reminds me so much of Molly. Thank you very much for listening to that little bit of music there. Um, so uh, yeah I do that sometimes just to break things up because uh, these are these can be quite long um, lessons in fact and um, I just find it find it hard to keep talking and talking and talking you might not think that's uh that's possible uh if you know me i can i can talk for whales <laughs> but yeah it's uh the some of these lessons especially when they they're detailed like this can um can go on for quite a while so in my um other youtube channel which is um clive's healthy living and mindset um links will be available in the icards also down in the descriptions for you um i encourage you to go along and have a look at that because i i vlog on there every single day um i talk a lot about anxiety a lot about my my journey as far as weight loss this is concerned with weight watchers um and now i'm i'm on a on a, a healthy lifestyle living i'm doing exercises and um Painting uh, has always been a, a major part of um, my mindset. It's allowed to, it's allowed me to heal a lot after the loss of my dear mother, and um, and I where I suffered a lot with anxiety. And it wasn't so much the fact that um, I lost my mum um, that was devastating. Don't get me wrong, um, but I came to terms with the loss of my mother. Um, quite quickly um in fact it was it was months, a couple of months um but it, it was all the added stress of um dealing with the house and family and you know people the family members we've got no control over um and so money is 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 a nasty vicious thing and it can cause a lot of rips and tears within a, a family um and, and that's what happened uh, with my family they weren't happy with certain people weren't happy with uh, the will and um, there was all this other stuff going on as you as you couldn't imagine and it was quite upsetting and um, caused me to get quite anxious and and I, I was on a, I was on a long road and I've been on a long road of recovery in fact um, as you know if you followed me before I've I've mentioned the fact that my darling wife Jane was uh, knocked down by a car um, um, just before Christmas uh, last year, which was 2018. And it was, uh, I thought she died um, and when she was actually lying on the floor um, unconscious. Um, I thought, that's it, my world has ended. And when she came around and, um, you know, we, we, we knew she was okay and she was, she was back to herself. Um, made me realize then why I worried what, like I was worrying about things. Um, the most important thing at, uh, to me is my wife. She's my, my best friend, my soulmate. And um, I don't know what I would do without her. And it just m m brought realization to back to me. It was like somebody had given me a big shake and said, look, you know, there's more important things in life than worrying about this, that, and the other. And, how people feel, how people react to you, and money, and all this other stuff. You know, just take one day at a time. Be grateful for what we've got, because we might not have it tomorrow. Uh, but at least you've enjoyed it today.
Okay, so this is the leg I'm actually working on at the moment. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm try, just trying to build up the shades. Um, as as the paint is actually drying on, on the card, um, it's started to get a little bit darker. Now, you can look at, look at the tones in the hat. You can see the way I actually built that up. Um, and I'm not going to take this painting to a point where, you know, it's 100% perfect and I'm happy with it. Um, I just have not got that time to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm finding it um, very difficult to to get these things um, where I'm happy with them, you know, so it's important that we we accept the fact that we're going to get it to a certain point and be happy with it. Because as artists, inevitably, um, we never know when to stop. And the hardest thing sometimes is knowing when to stop. You think, oh, that looks good. But if I just put another little brush stroke by you, oh, no, what have I done? I shouldn't have done that. And the hardest thing in the world is not doing that. So I've practiced and practiced and, and and trained myself to be able to um, stop at a certain point um, because I make videos and I say to myself I'm going to do this painting in 20 minutes ish I never say dead on 20 minutes because that's that's too much of a constraint as far as I'm concerned as an artist I give myself an approximate um, time limit and then once I get to the point there then I'm, I'm getting yeah okay I'm, I'm happy with that it might be 35 minutes on a 20 minute painting but I'm thinking yeah I, I, I can live with that and I stop and that is a very difficult thing to, for, to, for any artist to be able to do um, because these paintings can go on and on and on and on and on for hours and hours and hours and hours <laughs> and they inevitably do but um that can that control is the same thing you could have in life as well um and i've talked about anxiety and stuff and um we need to have that have that same control i think um in in, in our lives
Okay, so between a rock and a hard place, then it is. <laughs> That's what they say, don't they? Between a rock and a hard place. So what I'm going to try and do is separate this dog um, away from the uh, the rock. I've still got loads of work to do, and um, I just wanted to show you that, wow, it can take so long to get a painting done in such a, you know, it, it, I got to challenge myself to stop sometimes, and um, there we go. So I just want to put a little bit of dark underneath the rock, and um, I find these uh, narrating these things uh, is harder than actually painting them. I think I I'd rather talk as I paint. I find it a lot easier than trying to narrate, narrate um, paintings like this. But there you go. I'm doing my best. That's all I can do. I hope in your uh, you 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 getting something from this um anyway so i want to just wet the brush a little bit just to blend that in as i said to you before um the the gouache will reactivate so it's just it's just a matter of damping in the brush sometimes picking up a little bit of black just putting some hair in working on some shadows um, deepening these colors the more layers you put on the better this is going to look you can see the way the water is just pulling the paint together Just enjoying the painting process, in fact. So, this painting can go on for quite a long time. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to cut the video a little bit, just because I don't want this video to go on too long.
So I do apologise. I have sped, sped it up a bit and give it a little bit of an edit uh, because it was it was running way, 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 way over what I wanted to do. Um, but as you can see, basically I've just added more uh, colours and tones. I've done the shepherd's crook. I uh, worked on a dog. Um, looking at the um, the grass area, I'm going to be adding some grass in, brightening up the the dog's coat with some um, some white wash that I made myself, and um, I'm just going to finish the video there. So I want to thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. I do apologise for the um, the cutting and the speeding up, and the narration. But sometimes these things happen and we just have to go with the flow of paint. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and like on the, on the, on, on the comments. And um, I'll catch you in the studio next time.